And we go to Latin America now and we go to Colombia where public school teachers in Colombia entered their fourth day of a nationwide strike. For more on their, on their demands and how close they are to reaching a deal, we turn to our correspondent Natalia Margarita in Bogota. For 10 years, Sandra has been teaching in a public school, holding a bachelor's degree in education for children with special needs. In 2009, she managed to enroll in a master program, which meant three more years of tireless efforts in order to finish. Those three years basically meant I would leave behind my family, to struggle in the school as we are not allowed to study while working, also to ask for loans to afford the master's degree, all of that with the hope of getting a better salary. But regardless of having completed her master's degree, Sandra's monthly salary still is 650 U.S. dollars. However, beyond the demand for better salaries, teachers have also denounced the harsh conditions they face while teaching in the rural areas of Colombia. There's no proper infrastructure. We don't have specialized schoolrooms. We don't even have internet access. The government talks about connectivity, and I wonder where that connectivity is as I don't believe that even in Bogota that exists. Coming from Bolívar, one of Colombia's states most affected by the armed conflict, Dairon recalls what it means for a teacher to educate children in a context of violence. We have also become social workers and psychologists as we're the ones dealing with the socioeconomic and emotional background of children in conflict zones. And the education minister still says that we ask for too much. While teachers' unions have called on the president to designate a negotiator different from the education minister, students have joined the teachers in a struggle they believe belongs to them too. In order to have a free public education with proper quality, teachers must be granted with the best labor conditions. Hundreds of thousands of teachers from public schools across all different regions of Colombia came to Bogotá in order to tell the government that they will remain on a strike as long as concrete solutions to their demands are not provided. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.